It seems like not too long ago that stealing things from the airwaves just meant recording radio broadcasts of songs about Barbie girls and wanting it that way onto bootleg cassette tapes. But now, with details of our personal lives and billions of dollars worth of transactions constantly being beamed around over Wi-Fi, securing all of this stuff has become a huge priority for more than just Nick Carter. Well, yeah, Linus, uh, that's what those passwords that uh, clever people put in place over their wireless networks to keep unwanted intruders from accessing computers and files on the network are for. If you got one of those, you're safe, smart guy. Actually, you're partly right. Password protection on your Wi-Fi hotspot is a must these days, with some places even holding the internet connection owner liable for cyber crimes committed through their unsecured access point. But that's also a gross oversimplification. Not all passwords are created equal. Back in the early 2000s, nearly all routers shipped with a default security scheme called WEP, or Wired Equivalency privacy. And although it was incredibly widespread, thanks to US laws restricting the export of cryptographic technology and some short-sighted exploits that allowed brute force attacks to defeat it quite easily as computing power increased, it was also incredibly weak. If you're still using WEP, it's better than nothing, but know that it can be broken in minutes using free software. So this led to the development of WPA, which introduced much longer encryption keys, and TKIP, or Temporal Key Integrity Protocol, which protected against altered or forged packets and used constantly changing keys to dramatically improve the security of the web standard. But it was merely a temporary solution since the convenience and cost savings of being able to implement it with a firmware update on existing hardware came at a cost. It reused some parts of WEP, making it highly vulnerable to breach by today's standards. And not only that, but device intercompatibility sucked the big one. Which leads us to modern wireless encryption, the one you should be using unless you have some older devices that only support WPA. Although given that WPA2 support has been mandatory on any device with a Wi-Fi logo since 2006, there's really not much excuse for not swapping out that pocket PC for an iPad or something at this point. But what does WPA2 bring to the table? Most importantly, the mandatory use of the AES or Advanced Encryption Standard, an encryption algorithm so strong that it would take a modern computer hundreds or even thousands of years to break a 12-character password by brute forcing it. Which doesn't mean it's bulletproof, though. You know that one button Wi-Fi setup thing, WPS? It's convenient for home use, but turn that crank off for your business network because someone who has previously had access to the network, let's say, for example, a disgruntled employee, could break your WPA2 security in a couple of hours. And on top of that, if you're concerned about your personal data being stolen, security comes with you, not just when you're setting up your access point, because even the strongest encryption in the world between you and an access point can't protect you if that access point is being operated by someone who wants to get into your base and kill your dudes or at least steal your banking information. Beware of public Wi-Fi networks and ensure that whatever you're connecting to belongs to an individual or a business that you trust. Speaking of trust and being connected on the go, FreshBooks. It's designed for freelance workers or small businesses. It's an online tool, that's why I said connected and on the go. And it makes invoicing, getting paid, and tracking expenses easier. So you just go into it on your mobile device and you're like, yeah, I worked these hours, I expensed these things, blippity bloppity. Send an email with an invoice to your customer and get this, you can tell when they've read it and then they can pay you by credit card so that you are spending your time doing your business instead of playing around with numbers, which let's face it, are you that great with numbers anyway? I didn't think so, I'm sure not. So if you're your own boss, you should be using stuff that makes you feel like a boss. And FreshBooks is the easy way to do all your online billing so you have more time to do the work you actually want to be doing. Head over to freshbooks.com techquickie and enter techquickie and how did you hear about us to get a free trial. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it. If you thought it sucked, leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possible episodes just like this one. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're looking for something else to watch, check out our recent video on Channel Super Le Fun, where we actually shock each other for no reason. Actually, there's a reason. It's for being too slow. I mean, what kind of chump is too slow to press the button? They should get zapped.